Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the 2022 Lilac Ball. My name is Benjamin Brown, and I'm a proud member of Contingent 44. Martin Luther King Jr. once said that there is nothing greater than to do something for others. This quote means a lot to me because I realized during my prep journey that everyone needs a little help sometimes. I'm very grateful for all of the support that I've received along the way. My life has changed tremendously since I was accepted into prep for prep. At my charter school, I always achieved straight A's and I was able to finish my homework easily. However, from day one of the preparatory component, I quickly learned that this was not going to be the same. I remember our first English assignment, we had to read the first 106 pages of The Light in the Forest. Didn't they know I didn't even like to read? And that was just day one. What did I get myself into, I thought. I was so stressed, I questioned if I was able to complete all the homework assignments. I had to sacrifice playtime for schoolwork. I missed seeing my friends and going to birthday parties and chess tournaments. I soon realized that I would not be able to get through this preparatory component alone. I was going to have to ask for help when I needed it. Thankfully, I was not alone. Prep provided the help I needed. Thanks to prep math tutorials, I was able to master my math assignments. I, quest I emailed questions to my teachers and went to office hours, and the work began to make sense. My advisor, Justin Burrell, one of tonight's graduates, <laughs> reminded me that hard work will help me get into a good independent school and a good college. He reassured me, it's going to be all right. It's really hard, I know, because I did it and you can too. I also leaned on my prep friends for help. One positive outcome of the pandemic is that we, as students, were able to study together even though we live really far away from each other. Prep gave me a Chromebook and Wi-Fi access. My prep classmates, Tyler, Adriana, Mercy, and I formed a study group on Google Classroom. It was all work and not really fun at first, but together we finished our homework and could comprehend what we were learning. And we finished in just a couple of hours. But how? It didn't seem possible. But it was possible when we helped each other. The most important person in my prep journey is my mother. She has raised me by herself and has sacrificed so much for me. She takes me to my prep classes and makes sure I have everything I need. In the beginning of the summer in the preparatory component, she would sit with me for hours helping me get through my homework. She was always patient with me, especially when I get frustrated by my workload. I would not be here today without her love and support. She always tells me the one thing no one can take away from you is an education. There have been ups and downs in my journey, but mostly ups. My greatest victory has been developing a love of reading. I was always a math guy and preferred to solve math problems over analyzing passages. My prep English teacher taught me how to appreciate characters and how they grow through a story, and I owe that to my prep journey. This fall, I will attend the Browning School. I am very excited about smaller classes. In parent-teacher conferences, teachers have told my mother that they cannot call on me every single time I raise my hand <laughs> because they had to worry about 30 other students in the classroom. I look forward to smaller classes at Browning where my voice can be heard and my ideas can explode. I am thankful to Prep for Prep and to all of you for your support. Thank you. <laughs>